Hey friends, welcome to Living It Country. I'm Holly and today we get to visit another beautiful, adorable farmhouse and I'm so excited to tour my friend Jory's home. She lives in a tiny farmhouse that was actually a shed converted into a home. So it's absolutely gorgeous. You guys are gonna get so many ideas and inspiration from Jory. She has done an incredible job with her husband making this house a home absolutely love it so I'm excited to tour it today and let's go ahead and visit my friend Jory's home today so right from the front you can tell it's not a tiny house on wheels but it's a shed we purchased the shed shell from old hickory sheds and then we finished the inside ourselves so come on in and I'll give you a tour around You probably think that I'm crazy for having a white porch, but I think that it really brightens up a small space that we have here. And I do have to repaint it once or twice a year, but I'm okay with that. Recently, I've added these curtains, which kind of act as a, um, like a screened in porch. So come on in through the front door and I'll show you around. Walk in, you walk into the kitchen living area. It's kind of one big space. Um, the shiplap in here is from an old fruit warehouse, and then the ceiling is from an old grain barn. And the actual beams are from a um, metal roofing pallet that my husband's dad found for us, and they kind of match perfectly to the ceiling, so it worked out. Here is our tankless hot water heater and our vacuum. It's the only little storage space that we really have in here on this level. Um, right here is our fireplace and our TV. I used to have a full-size mantle there, but I had to take it out because the door was hitting it when it would open. I just used some old shiplap and made that kind of false one there. So if we come right around here, this is my son's room. Recently, I built this um, bed for him. He just turned three, so he's big enough to climb up there by himself and not fall off and get hurt. It opened up a lot of space underneath for his toys. And then the steps going up that I made um, also have storage in them. This is our seating area and right behind it is an old door that is reclaimed that I refinished and put a mirror in. So our kitchen is actually a pretty decent size. We do have full size appliances in here. Um, I don't have a lot of decorations in here. I actually kind of multi-purpose them. So all of the glassware up there is stuff that we use every day. And then the stuff that's not so attractive, I have space for in the cabinets underneath. So our bathroom actually is full size. We'll come right around here and into our laundry room, which is actually not really a laundry room at all. It's kind of a hallway, but it works for us. When I designed the tiny house, I actually forgot to make a spot to store laundry soap. So right here in this little cute container, I have my laundry soap, which is really convenient. 
So if we come right in here, this is our bedroom. So this space fits a king size bed perfectly. Um, it's kind of hard to make the bed, but it's a really cozy space. Right out this window, we have our little chicken coop so we can keep an eye on our chickens. That's about it. So if you guys want to follow along on our upcoming projects, you can find me at Dory Wilkinson. And thanks for watching. A big thank you to Dory for opening up her beautiful home. I hope you guys got lots of new ideas and inspiration. Make sure you guys check out all the other beautiful home tours in the links down below. And I will see you guys later. Bye.